afternoon. Hello. I think on Wednesday night we were uncertain about Marcus Rashford. Can you give us some sort of update as to whether he might be fit tomorrow? Yeah, fit. He's okay. What about other players perhaps potentially coming back? I don't want to talk about injuries because they're upsetting you, but... Nobody else. The situation... Same, the same players. We have the same players as we had for a Benfica match. Does that become a tough situation or is it because you've now got some momentum? It's an easier situation with players playing three games in a week. No, everybody knows that every manager wants to have all the players available. It's just then a question of the way you position yourself in relation to that, the way you think is the best way to do it. You know, for some it's better to remember and remember and remember that the team is not in, in its full strength. It's better to remember that player A or B is missing and player C or D is so important for the team. The way we, we try to do it, the way we think is the best way to do it, is to speak always about opportunities for others, trust for others, and believe in others. Doesn't mean that I don't miss the players, doesn't, doesn't mean that I wouldn't like them to be here and available for us. It's just the way we, we, try, we try to do it. And yes, I answer to your question, obviously, that nobody is, is back from, from injury. But once more, we go with what we have, and what we have is good. Jose, um, both Paul Pogba and Zlatan have posted things on social media indicating they are working towards full fitness. Have you got any idea when they are likely to be able to play? No, Paul is not here. I don't know when he comes back. I don't know when he is available. I have no idea about it. Uh, Zlatan is here, he's working here, he's under our control, he's working as I would expect so, 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 so hard, but he's not to be back in the next week or in a couple of weeks. Let, let's him take his, his time and be back when everybody feels is uh, the right moment. Do I believe he will be back? In 2017, yes, I do, but it's just a feeling. You, you said at the start of the season you, you obviously wanted to try and fight, sign four players, you only got three. Does the way that you've lost players for the length of time that you have during the first half of the season mean you are more likely to try and sign someone in January to boost your numbers, or are you happy with the numbers you have? I, I, I don't know what to say. Yes, it's true that I wanted for players, and I think clearly everybody knows the position. I think maybe you know the player uh, didn't happen, um, and we adapt to it, and we try to do the best we the best we can. The injury process normally is a process of some guys get injured, some guys recover from uh, from injured from injury. Unless you lose completely the balance, I think this happened to almost every team. Unless some some team has a phenomenal season where everything goes well and not even not even a, a broken nail happens to 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 a, to a player. But what I expect from a normal season is that Zlatan will be back and. Uh, Marcos will be back, and uh, Pog will be back, and Fellaini will be back, and somebody will will get injured, and I think that's a normal process. With Romo and Zlatan coming back, does that kind of mean you don't need to reinforce in January? They're, they're signings themselves? You know? I don't want to speak about signing, and I don't want to speak about markets, and I don't want to speak about January. We are in October. We have November to play, we have December to play, we have half of October to play, so why should I be speaking about the market when the market is January? With Rojo, you said two weeks or so, could we expect to see him in the under-23s against Liverpool when Luke Shaw's been playing with the 23s? Can we expect to see him in the, in the first team no. time soon? No, not Marcos. And on Luke, hmm? and on Luke how's, how's he? He's been playing. Working. 
Good. Jose, you're, you're at Huddersfield this weekend, obviously a, a new experience for you going there in the Premier League. Obviously, you've had this type of experience many times during your career. H how do you combat this sense of it being Manchester United in town for the first time in the Premier League? Because their fans, their players, the whole club is likely to be really up for this match in particular. Yeah. We are silly if we don't, if we don't know what he's expecting for us. Um, unless he's, he's a new player in the Premier League, which we have only a victor, a part of that, everybody knows the Premier League, everybody knows what it means to play against the, the newly promoted team. Uh, it's nothing new. Uh, every team in the Premier League is, is good, every team in the Premier League sinks and sinks well, that they can win every, every match and against every opponent. Of course, the place will be buzzing, the people will be really happy to have um, a big club playing in, in their city, in their stadium. It will be a big motivation for them, we know, we know clearly that, but I think we are going to be ready.